your must-do next step in the recruiting process. This is the Athletic Scholarship Podcast, episode number 150. I have made it. I'm at the pinnacle. I hit episode number 150. I thought I'd never get there. Now it's on to number 200. Welcome to the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. I'm John Fugler, athletic scholarship coach and a dad of two scholarship athletes. I'm also the CEO of Recruit Me, a podcaster, author, and speaker. You're tuned in to the podcast that is 15 minutes that will change your scholarship future. So I dig in and give you takeaways you can use immediately. Hey, the sponsor of this podcast is my book, The Athletic Scholarship Playbook. It's a complete college recruiting roadmap for high school athletes and parents. I teach step-by-step, step-by-step. And in this episode, we're going to talk about your next step. It's a linear approach to recruiting, a linear approach, because I believe and I've seen that when you do it this way, you are successful. Well, I uh, just got back from South Africa and uh, dealing with the time change as I record this. I'm recording this, by the way, just minutes before it's going to be posted and available for you. Uh, because my schedule has just been crazy. I haven't been able to get to the studio. I got back on Sunday from South Africa, so it's it's like the middle of the night right now, but I'm, I'm doing okay. You know, you turn on the microphone, all of a sudden you come alive, but uh, it's good to be back. I came back a day late because got to the airport, got to the gate, got ready to go, and the flight was canceled. Something about a, a malfunctioning engine. So I'm glad they canceled it. Uh, We had to then backtrack, go get our luggage, go back through um, uh, customs again to get back into the country, so to speak, uh, into South Africa. And then we sloshed through uh, immigration backwards. The hallway was empty because it was flooded. Then we got our luggage. Then we got to go ahead and stay an extra 24 hours. But uh, it was Swiss Air. I got to tell you, they, they did a nice job because they put us up in a luxury um, not even a hotel. It was a whole conference center um, resort, and they fed us three meals, buffet meals. It was it was pretty good. But finally got home. I'm tired, yes, but I made it. But here we are. It's Tuesday, and I promise I get these out on Tuesday. And I think I do it about 95 percent of the time. Every Tuesday, you get 15 minutes. We're going to be talking about the must do next step in the recruiting process. This is summer. This is the re- the summer recruiting series. Uh, and I'll tell you, it's compressed. You only have so many weeks. And here we are, third week of June, and you've got to be moving now. I, I mean, the first month of summer is almost over. I hope you're making some progress. I hope past episodes have really helped you out. Please make sure you're here every week uh, during this summer because I'm going to give you some things that will really help you. Next week, I've got a guest. I've got a parent who has a son who is competing in D1 college sports, and another son who is in high school right now. We want to learn about their experience and how the one got there and how the next one is on his way, and especially what they did in the summer that may help you out. Okay, Uh, I've got some homework for you. Even before we start, I'll have a little more at the end here, but here's what I want you to do. Because this is a, a summer where we're compressing everything, as I mentioned, I want you to watch my recruiting masterclass step-by-step to your athletic scholarship dream. Will you do that this week? Will you you carve out 45 minutes of your schedule to watch this? Because, one, it will answer your questions. A lot of your questions will be answered in this, no matter where you are on the spectrum of how far along you are in the recruiting process. Secondly, it will give you a summer plan. You'll come away with a summer plan if you apply what's in uh, that master class. And third, uh, you'll get moving in the right direction right away. So go there. It's free, of course. And how do you get there? Well, on my YouTube channel, the Recruit Me Athletic Scholarship YouTube channel, but there's an easier way. All you've got to do is go ahead to my website, recruitme.com, and you'll see a resources tab. Click on the resources tab and then scroll down a little bit and the masterclass video link is right there. So please, that's above all, that is your homework. Now, when I get to the end of this episode, I'll give you another assignment and I'll say above all, (laughs) but no, go ahead and please, please watch that. I really want you to do that. 
Uh, I don't know if you're the dings going on here, but my computer's telling me a whole bunch of stuff that I don't even want to pay attention to now. Paying attention to you. Um, and uh, we're going to go with the uh, Athletic Scholarship Playbook Tip of the Week. It's really simple. It's about key- keeping a coach's interest. And what I say in here on page 85, keeping a coach's interest is a highly strategic part of the recruiting process. Coaches prefer to recruit athletes that have expressed interest in their program and athletes that continue to express interest. And what I want to emphasize there is this is an ongoing process. Continue to show interest in the program. Keep that relationship. Keep that ball in the air. Keep that relationship alive, and uh, and you'll be more successful. Don't cut off. Even if you're not quite sure whether you're still totally interested in this school, please keep a coach's interest. That's most important. And that's a, a little bit of a teaser because if you go and watch the master class, you'll find out how to keep a coach's interest. And uh, as we talk about tonight, uh, your next step in the recruiting process, let's get into that right now. So it, it's must do, must do next step in the recruiting process. Um, so here's, here's what I, I've, I've got some things I want you to do, and you can actually either do this in your mind, or I guess if you're driving, that's the best way to do it. If you can write them down, that's great. If you want to go back and replay this, that's great. If you do what I do when I listen to podcasts, I want to take notes. Actually, even on the treadmill, I'll send an email to myself with a quick thought. <laughs> I don't know how you, how you take notes when you're moving and what, listening to a podcast as a secondary thing, but the must do next step in the recruiting process. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're, you're, you're going to have the answer by the time we're done. You'll have the answer in less than 10 minutes, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. I don't know where you are in the process, whether you've even started or you're at the tail end or you're somewhere in the middle. But when you get away from this, you will know what your must do next step is in the recruiting process. And here's, here's what, I want you to do. First of all, answer this question. What are your um, actions that you need to take, as far as you know right now, that you need to take in the recruiting process? What are the actions you need to take from now until that scholarship offer? What are those actions? Now, I'm not talking about, you know, 15 to 20. What are, say, five or six actions that you have a hunch right now that you need, you're going to have to take along the process, okay? Okay. Uh, maybe one is visiting schools. Another one might be uh, researching schools. Another one uh, might be um, sending updates to coaches. Uh, what are those things that you will need to do that you know right now, a good hunch that you're going to have to do? I want you to write those down and just five or six of them, Okay. Top of mind, what comes to your mind right now, okay? So you want to do that. Write down the actions you will have to take that you know you're going to have to take or have a hunch you're going to have to take between now and and final school choice. You ready? Okay, do that. Second thing I want you to do is I want you to prioritize them. But listen, not prioritizing what you feel is probably the toughest or the hardest or the most important. I want you to prioritize things sequentially. So if you're going to make school visits, maybe that's the next thing you need to do. Maybe this summer you need to just get on your horse and start riding the circuit, seeing these schools. Uh, that may be where you're at. But perhaps you're, uh, you're just going into sophomore year. Your son or daughter is going into sophomore year. And visiting schools, yeah, you, you, you're going to have to do that, but it's not really what you want to do now or have to do now. You don't even have any coaches who have gotten in touch with you. There's no recruiting taking place. You're backed way up, and and perhaps your next step is to contact coaches. Make that contact. Or maybe your next step is to look uh, for camps, available camps that you want to have your son or daughter uh, go to and be seen by coaches. So you write, you've got that list. I want you to prioritize them sequentially. So in what order, and, and don't worry about getting this just right, in what order will these things need to happen? So here's what we've done when, when you do that. 
when you prioritize them one to five or one to six, you've taken all this input that you've received about recruiting and athletic scholarships, maybe from me and others, and you've scoured the internet, and you've got all this information, and top of mind tells you to, these are the five or six that got to get done, five or six things that got to get done. I do that often when I'm doing my weekly plan. I, I establish a weekly plan that I follow through. Every Monday morning, I go through that. Uh, I take a look at what I did last week, what I accomplished, and what I didn't accomplish, what's still on the list, and then make this week's list. But you know what I do sometimes? I totally erase last week's list. I start with a clean slate and I say, okay, what must get done this week? What must get done this week? And then boom, top of mind, I'm starting to write one, two, three things down there. And by, by three, I know that that's about all I can handle this week on the must, must do's. But it, I know, I know in my heart what needs to be done. And I'm asking you to do the same thing. You know, in your heart, what needs to be done. So you've You've listed five or six. Now you've prioritized them. And then simply, as the title says, your must-do next step in the recruiting process, do the first thing on the list. It may be simple. It may be uh, go out with my son or go out with my daughter to Starbucks and talk about recruiting philosophy or talk about what their scholarship dreams are. What are their competitive dreams? It may be go out and start working on this list of schools that we want to approach. It may be, okay, what are the five schools that we want to visit this summer? Maybe two of them this or this year and two of them this summer. Um, it, whatever, take a look at your list, then do the first thing. Do the, I almost like to say uh, you got your list of the top five or top six I would like you to take that sheet of paper and tear off everything but the first one. So all you've got the first one. You do not earn the right to do number two or number three or number four until you've accomplished number one. Recruiting is sequential. Keep that in mind. It's a step-by-step -step process. You've got to earn the right to go on to step two. And when you get step two done, you earn your right to go to the third thing on the list. And that is simply how you can make this summer count. I mean, you are going to be, it's like strapping a jet engine on your back and you're going to take off because you're not going to be distracted by all those other things you could do. There's a ton of information out there. We need to keep you focused this summer. And I'm going to ask you to do this. I'm going to ask you to stop researching recruiting and scholarships. Uh, the only researching you're able to do is if, the next thing on your list is to make your list of schools that you're going to approach. Then, yeah, you got to do some researching. But I don't want you to do any researching, get any more knowledge on scholarships, athletic scholarships, until you've accomplished that first thing, that must-do next step in your recruiting process. What did one person call it? I think I just heard that today. Um, it's uh, a <laughs> uh, – see – I can't even remember what they called it, but it's you get frozen in your analysis. You get paralysis by analysis. But uh, I'll have to remember what they said and come back. And it was just a great word uh, that we 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 learn, but we don't act. Um, it's pro procrastination, but it is like edu procrastination, education pr procrastination. Uh, so stop researching. Stop educating yourself. Um, I've already told you, you need to go watch the video, <laughs> you know, the recruiting masterclass, but, uh, yeah, do that after you've taken that first step. I mean, even my own video, I'll say, don't watch it until you've taken that first step, that next step. We need to get you off the dime. We need to get you focused. We need to, uh, make sure that this summer that you are moving in the right direction. And that you're taking steps that really count. You're taking the next must-do step in this sequential recruiting process. So you got two sets of homework. I want to watch. I want you to watch my video, the free video, the master class, the step-by-step -step to your athletic scholarship dream. Find it on my website. And then secondly, I want you to write down the actions you believe you're going to have to take 
in the whole recruiting process. Don't have to be perfect. And then prioritize them and then do that first thing this week. When we come back next week, I want that first thing to be done or you're on your way to do it. I mean, if your first thing is to visit three schools, I don't expect you to get it done this week. But, hey, let's get the start making the appointments. Start putting it on your calendar. Uh, back up from that and say that is my next step. To visit the schools, I've got to contact the schools. I've got to contact the coaches. I've got to uh, carve out some time on my calendar. But, boy, narrow down what's right in front of you that next step. So there you have it. You know now what your must-do next step is in the recruiting process. <laughs> See what I mean? I didn't have the answer. You had the answer all along. <laughs> okay, we'll be back next Tuesday with my special guest. I like to bring guests in every once in a while, and it's somebody you'll probably be able to relate to because it's another parent, and we're going to talk about summer recruiting and their personal experience. Until then, God bless you. We'll talk to you next week.